Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be showing you a Record Store Day exclusive. It is going to be available this Friday, Black Friday for Record Store Day. It's very limited in quantity and I was lucky to be able to get it ahead of time. I'm gonna show it to you, talk to you about it, the history of the artist, as well as a couple of other wonderful records that were sent my way by Elemental Music Record Label. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that, as well as if you've been watching my channel for very long, you see I'm in the living room, and I had been making my videos upstairs right by the jukebox so it's a little different than it had been in the past and maybe you're wondering why i switched it's because we recently did a total renovation of the upstairs media room and i'm going to give you a tour i have a lot of music memorabilia up there my uh, jukebox is still there and i thought it'd be a lot of fun if i showed you what we have done upstairs so if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and the like button. Everything you do helps me and my channel to grow. So thank you so much for your support. And let's get started. Uh, first off, I'm talking about Elemental, the Elemental Music Record Label. They specialize in newly discovered archival and out of print records, as well as classic records that are just hard to find. And my introduction to Elemental Music was this beautiful record that came out last summer, the last record store day we had. This is Bill Evans, Behind the Dykes. My husband surprised me and brought this home from a business trip he had been on. And I really, really enjoyed this release. A lot of times when there is a newly discovered concert by a jazz musician, a lot of times you hear people say, I like having it for archival purposes. And that's an important thing. I'm not knocking it. And this is really great to have for archival purposes. I'm a huge fan of Bill Evans. But not only was this really nice to have for history sake, it sounds incredible. It's three LPs. It came on a beautiful gatefold. The packaging was really beautiful. The sound quality of this concert was amazing. So that is what put Ele Elemental Music on the map for me. And I am so thrilled. They reached out to me and they asked me if I would do a review on some of their albums. And they sent three records my way. And the first one I'm gonna show is one that's gonna be avail available Friday for Record Store Day. It is the beautiful Tammy Terrell. And I love the album cover. Immediately when you see her in this really cool late 60s groovy outfit, her name in the bright yellow, her beautiful smile, it puts a smile on your face. And unfortunately, there are some sad aspects to her life and the history of her music. Um, if you've never heard her name, you've definitely heard her voice. She did some really popular duets with Marvin Gaye. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. That's one of her tunes, as well as You're All I Need to Get By. So she was a very famous Motown artist with Marvin Gaye. And, um, you know, she was very young. This is a wonderful solo release by her. Unfortunately, back in 1967, when she was in concert with Marvin Gaye up on stage, she collapsed. Nobody knew why at the time, but uh, unfortunately, she found out a little bit later that she had a brain tumor. It led to a lot of health issues. She had very un some unsuccessful surgeries, and unfortunately, she died at the tender age of 24, my daughter's age she is now. Um, back in 1970. So heartbreaking story of a very young, talented, aspiring girl. But even though her life ended so soon and so tragically, 
This is a very happy, beautiful sounding record. And it's available for Record Store Day. It's limited to only 1,200 copies. I have only seen this record one time at a store in Nashville. It was on the Holy Moly wall for an original. So if you see this one for Record Store Day, pick it up. If you love the fresh and beautiful, happy sound of Motown, you will love this release. Uh, there's also a song all of us know, This Old Heart of Mine. Um, is a really cool tune. You're probably more familiar with the Rod Stewart version of it, but she does a fantastic job. Look how beautiful she was. And they did a great job of making this record. It sounds great. It's beautiful on vinyl. Check out the color. It is the beautiful yellow. It matches her name on the album cover along with that iconic Motown label. So this is a beautiful, wonderful record. If you see this one out there on Record Store Day, pick it up. It's hard to find an original, and this is very limited. So a really wonderful release by Elemental Music. Now the next two records, oh, also I wanna also mention that as far as Record Store Day goes, unfortunately the Jackson 5 ABC record has been postponed but there is a Barry Maguire's Eve of Destruction. It is a record that has been out of print for 40 years. That's gonna be available for Record Store Day. So uh, those are two very cool Record Store Day releases. Uh, now I wanna to talk to you about Arthur Lee. They have also done a release of a really cool record. Most of you know Arthur Lee from this iconic album by Love. He was the founder of this band and the album Forever Changes is iconic. Um, just really classic. I put it up there along the lines of uh, the Zombies Odyssey and Oracle or um, the Beatles Sgt. Pepper. It has that kind of sound and um, iconic status. Well, after he left the band Love. He went on, this is his solo debut called Vindicator. And they did a really good job putting this one out on a gatefold with a lot of wonderful pictures. I'm sorry for the glare, you all. And just a really nice release. And I'm gonna read the hype sticker because it really just says it all. They described what this record is about perfectly on here. So uh, I'm gonna read this. It's Vindicator is the debut solo album by Arthur Lee, former of the legendary 60s band Love. This was released in 1972 by A&M, and the LP features a muscular set of guitar-fueled hard rock laced with blues. And that, that's perfect. That sums it up perfectly. The influence of Lee's friend Jimi Hendrix is prevalent um, throughout the record. Included here is a superb soul spin everybody's got everybody's gotta live and the song everybody's gotta live was also covered by the uh, and the posthumous album by mac miller uh, on his album circles a great record and this is on the iconic a and m records label and it definitely has a Jimi Hendrix vibe to it. Definitely, you can hear the inspiration on this. And also, Arthur Lee's vocals, uh, they sound just a tinge. They kind of remind me of an early Bob Seger voice. I, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of really fun, playful lyrics as Arthur Lee is famous for. And that's just a wonderful release. And uh, it's also just a really collector's uh, edition of that album. And now I also want to show you this wonderful record by Barney Whelan. It is called French Ballads. It is a beautifully packaged record. Has some wonderful information, beautiful pictures on a gatefold. Here's the back. There are some unre otherwise unreleased tracks on here, as well as um, here are the uh, players on this beautiful record, French Ballads, and Barney Whelan was a, a French tenor and soprano saxophone player, as well as a wonderful jazz composer. He worked with Miles Davis, Thelonious Monk, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, um, Kenny Clark. 
he was well known and he uh, was an incredible artist. And this is a really incredible record. And I don't call records masterpieces very often. You know, I consider Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon a masterpiece or um, maybe The Zombie's Odyssey and Oracle. This to me is a masterpiece. It's beautiful. And I'm uh, really become a huge jazz fan. And I would put this one in, if you like easy listening, soft listening jazz, you would absolutely love this. I highly recommend you streaming it. If you like what you hear, your mind would be blown by this particular copy of French Ballads because the vinyl is so incredible. Here is the hype sticker. I'm sorry for the glare. Here is what it says. Newly remastered from the 24 track analog master tapes by the original sound engineer. And man, it sounds so beautiful. That's what I love about jazz and what's coming out now about jazz. Beautiful, incredible sounding pressings. And this one is right up there. It sounds so good. So there's two LPs on 180 gram vinyl. Again, this is a beautiful record that sounds fantastic. And I would say, even if you're not a Christmas music fan, put this record on, turn on your Christmas tree and you would be truly inspired. So thank you so much to the Elemental Music Record Label for sending these beautiful records my way. It was my honor to receive them. You did not disappoint. They were great and I really appreciate it. And now I wanna show you what we've been doing upstairs. You've been noticing lately, I've been doing my uh, videos downstairs again, where in the past I've been doing them right by my jukebox upstairs. Well, our upstairs has got a fresh coat of paint and uh, we have created a beautiful movie theater room. Now, this is not a stereo equipment tour. I will be doing a stereo equipment video very soon. Um, but this will show you um, our incredible transformation of a room where there's movie theater uh, seats and the jukebox is still there. I've got a lot of wonderful music memorabilia hung on the walls and I thought you might want to see it. So uh, if you do, stay tuned. Here we go. And now I'll go ahead and start with the tour. First off, as you can see, I have that wonderful Van Halen stand-up that was given to me as a gift by Michael in Nebraska. Very cool. And as you walk up, you can immediately see my jukebox. This is one my husband and I uh, totally refurbished, and I think it's really beautiful. I'm going to turn the light off really quick so you can see how good it looks when it's in the dark. I really love that. Uh, have a lot of great songs on there, and I really enjoy it up here. Uh, I My stereo equipment um, is in the main hub of the house, downstairs in the living room, but I do love listening to music, and the jukebox really does a great job for that in here. And uh, here's kind of an overall look of the room. And my husband built this riser that the second row of seating is sitting on, so I'm going to have to be walking around that a little bit, so bear with me. Uh, immediately I'll go over here and show you what's on this table. Uh, a little coaster, that's Van Halen, that was given to me by Billy Hurst from Riverbend Records. Also, this is a, just a hallmark ornament of the, kit, uh, be the Beatles, and I just leave it out all the time. My mi Magical Mystery Tour cookie jar, as well as a wonderful little Snoopy phone. This is one that I wanted desperately as a child, but my mom could never afford. Found it at an antique store and I bought it. So now I have it forever. <laughs> and also, I will show you my autographed record covers that I'm really proud of. This is a wonderful one by the zombies, signed by the members of the band. I don't know if it's still available, but as of last year, it was put on their website. I think during COVID, they had some free time and were able to sign some albums, and I feel very fortunate to have that. Also, a wonderful Cheap Trick autograph. This came exclusively through Experience Vinyl. I ordered my their latest record through Experience Vinyl, and I was thrilled that this insert was included, signed by the band, 
and I was just very proud of that. I love the band Cheap Trick, so having their autographs is a true treasure for me. And of course, and I have to step up on that riser so it's a little awkward, you guys. Let me show you this one. This is Mammoth. This is Wolf Van Halen, Eddie's son. This is his newest and brand new release. It's a really great record. And I was, uh, I ordered from his website and the initial run was on clear vinyl. And for a limited time, he was giving out signed inserts. And so that's what this is. This is an insert that came in the album signed by Wolfgang Van Halen. So now I'll go ahead and come down. I have to take another step down this riser. So I'll show you, this is my um, bookshelf of records and I do keep extra copies as well as some overflow records I don't listen to very often. I have some really cool books up here. My Paul Stanley book is autographed. That's my box for the Ozzy Osbourne box set. And like I said, just some extra records that I don't listen to as often or maybe extra copies of records I already have downstairs. Here is my uh, Traveling Egypt Station by Paul McCartney, Traveler's Edition, really neat. I love having the suitcase on display. And now I'll go ahead and show you the wonderful seating that we now have. It's two rows and I really love them. I They're really comfortable leather. They have adjustable heads, you can lean back. There is, um, you can warm up the seats, you can have a massage. They're just really first class, very, very nice seating. Here is another shelf full of extras and a few box sets that I don't have downstairs. I need to get some of these in here, like my Queen box set and my Led Zeppelins. They all need to go downstairs, as well as a record holder of the Beatles. A couple more of the Beatles plates. I had a rubber sole one on the other side. So I just think that's really cool. Here's another little item that I found uh, at an antique store that I think is really cool. It is, um, of course, Nipper and uh, wasn't a lot of money. I don't know how old this is or what year this one came out, but I really love um, the RCA little Nipper dog. So I thought that would be a really cool addition to the movie room. And here is the, the, uh, the TV, and eventually we might even get something bigger, but this is a pretty good size uh, TV. We have a Denon receiver, Klipsch speakers that we will probably upgrade at some time, and an SVS subwoofer that is really cool. And the sound in here is really good. When you're watching a movie, the sound quality is just amazing. So I really am enjoying this. It's so comfortable. The only problem is sometimes falling asleep. So um, here also, is that wonderful John Lennon poster. It was given to us as a gift by our nephew, Brad, and I really love having that one back up, as well as uh, something that's a real treasure for me. A couple months ago, we got to see Sticks in concert, and this is a signed um, drum head, and I also added a picture to it just to make it more interesting. So I really love having all of these things in this room. Overall, this is just a gorgeous room. We changed the color. If you remember seeing videos in the past, it was a tan and now it's a beautiful gray with white trim. I absolutely love the chairs. I'm really happy with what we did. And so that is the tour. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.